I want to take you guys through how I will process this image in Capture One and in Photoshop. Go about editing and everything. I watched some of my old videos and I have realized some old things that I feel are still relevant and some other things that are not really relevant. Like back then, I used to do all this color grading and all this color correction in Photoshop. But yeah, we are doing that here in Capture One before we jump into Photoshop. So. This is where we started from, soak that in, see whatever it is you're looking at, see what we're working with and this is what we're dealing with after. What I did was to change the ICC profile from the EOS 80D I shot with to a Canon 5D Mark IV. You can see the skin texture is soft, you can see the texture alright, beautiful makeup done, lighting not so okay, I mean I was still learning and you can see all the shininess on the face. There's a new feature available for all AI editing softwares I have used over the time, which is called the highlighter or the I mean mattifier, um, removing shine, shine removal, and everything. I mean the name depend. The name is dependent on the software you're using. What I then did was to create a reverse SKF. I was supposed to create a reverse SKF rather. So a reverse SKF sort of opens up my mid-tone shadows and highlights just because i mean it reduces the highlights let me show you before and after what you're currently seeing is a reduction in contrast with respect to just the luminosity values so what i would then do is to bring back a little bit of contrast using the contrast slider over here this i have no control over just because i can just move it left and right but with the curve i have control over with how much highlights I want in there, how much shadows I want in there. So I think I'll settle with this levels. I introduced some blacks in there and brought back the whites. So let's go into sharpening to sharpening because I don't want enough sharpening on my skin. I have the sharpness I want. I, my, my image is already in focus. I don't need that sharpness. So if I hold option and do a quick before, and after before and after you see sharpness is also in its form contrast so i am taking away the contrast so that i can build the contrast myself and that is what i have been doing for quite a long while now even i think two years ago i did i improving retouching is a whole lot of work on its own okay now let's go into color editor in color editor I would want to do a few things but before that let's color correct this particular image i'm going to pick the auto white balance checker and click on white i'm assuming this is supposed to be white because i shot it on a white backdrop so this is what we are looking at in with respect to white balance okay two reddish for me so i'm going to come into color editor basic into the orange color make sure it looks a little bit yellowish or let's just keep this here let's go into skin tone pick a particular skin tone let's assume this particular color scroll down if you move the hue of the amount it changes to the skin color you're looking out for and i mean i like it this way i'm going to keep the white balance and a little bit of a change in hue with respect to the skin color i just selected Let's hit on view selected color range so that you see exactly what's happening. So basically we have everything selected with respect to the skin. I'll increase the saturation a little bit or I'll reduce it rather because I'm about to reduce the lightness. The moment you reduce the lightness on a dark skin subject, you introduce more color. So that's why I'm reducing the saturation. All right? Let's bring back the hue a little bit. Then let's unify the hue, unify the saturation and a tad bit of the lightness this is where but this is what we are working with before and after very beautiful now the next thing i want to do is to jump into color balance where the color gradient is going to happen i'll immediately drop down the luminosity of the mid-tone because I want the transition of the highlights and the shadows into the mid-tone to transition very smoothly even without going into Photoshop yet. So this is what we are currently working with as you can see before and after. You can, you can clearly tell what's happening. I'm going to open up the highlights 
a little bit more all right now let's work with the colors i'm going to introduce some cyan into the shadows right some warmth into the mid tones or better still just to introduce some blues into the skin i'm going to push blues into the mid tones so all the way just let's make sure it's blue not purple blue like cold blue so this is what we're working with then i reduce to fit to taste then i will warm the highlights so there i have this one okay let's see what we've done so far option on the keyboard before the color balance adjustment and after the color balance adjustment so let's quickly do uh, an overall before and after before and after i love what i'm seeing i'm going to jump into photoshop with this i can do more here by matching skin tone skin color you know what let's just do that there's more time on our hands i know this video is going to be a long one so i'll create a new empty layer create a radial gradient hold m on the keyboard to show the radial gradient invert the max because we want it just on the face reduce the feathering of the radial gradient increase it 10 of the mask then see me adjust the exposure i didn't want it to be one-sided it looked one-sided it looked like the face was too bright so bringing it down made a whole lot of sense i'm going to add a little bit of levels to this right not to eliminate the contrast on the face so before and after if that's too much for us we can reduce the opacity so radial filter rf as we go what's next what what do we think we can do here matching skin tones i'll probably want to do that in photoshop so i'll do all this here initially back then you won't see me do all these here in capture one but you can however follow this principle with respect to every dark image out or every dark skin model you're working with if you're feeling you want to work with melanin skin tone you can whatever camera you're, whatever camera you shot with you can enjoy going through this process to send your image from the before you have by fixing the exposures and everything to something you would love so we'll jump into photoshop and we'll see how that works